One, two, three, four. Do you ever make New Year's resolutions? No. no. I mean, they're the same ones idea? every year, like try and lose weight and drink less. And, um, but, you know, that never works. I think that New Year's resolutions have a tendency to, to make you feel bad because you don't stick to them. I don't know what the specific origin of the tradition is, but I suspect what sustains it is post Christmas guilt. I think, you know, I think if you put that, you put yourself under the pressure of, of giving something up the minute you. Uh, fall back, for me anyway, that's the end of it. I find you start off with a resolution like, I'm going to drink less, and then it just gets vaguer and vaguer what less means, and then it, by the end of the year you're like, well at least I'm no longer drinking at home on my own. So <laughs> what about yeah, doing something for somebody else no. rather than... <laughs> No, absolutely not. No is this way. what this is about? You go to no, the yes. To shift the whole meme of New Year's resolutions from being giving up things and sort of self-centered things to being more outgoing, doing things with the community or with other people. No, I think that is a much better idea. I think to, to remove any, anything that removes a kind of Western narcissism can only be yeah. a good idea. How about doing some kind of resolution that's definitely for other people rather than yourself. I think, I think that's a great idea. I love those kind of, for the fact, even this, you know, massive corporate people like Orange, that they do these gigs where if you volunteer, you get tickets for them. I think that's a great idea. But I just think life is sort of so, it's sort of finite and it goes much quicker than you think it's gonna go. It's very easy to just lose the direction of what you want and what you, what you want from your life. So I think it's really good to consider and think about things and then maybe you know, say like this time next year, I would like to be, you know, and make some kind of realistic change. Well, what I could do is um, sit down with my daughter when she wants to practice the piano and make sure she does. I would definitely say do something with someone else that you would normally do on your own. And this can be misinterpreted. <laughs> well, I mean, like a lot of people I know, I sort of go around and do lots of sort of talks for free in schools and colleges and stuff. Like I'm always really impressed by how many people give up their time for free actually. I do workshops in schools and I teach in schools and, and um, yeah I teach musical instruments so Great. and and genre and music workshops and things like that. Just recognising that your behaviour is that you are fallible and that you can change it as you're going along. Just you know try not to be a dick. Every time you feel a bit of dickishness coming on Every time you think you're going to say something unkind and unnecessary or behave in a slightly cock way, then just take a breath and don't do it. Don't Excellent. be a dick. What about volunteering for some organisation or doing something in your own community? People in my village where I live have began to cotton on to the fact that somebody from the TV lives near them. I'm getting asked more and more to do stuff for the local community as well, raising money for a rare injured soldiers at the local barracks, things like that. So you think making you happier and helping other people go hand in hand? Yeah, definitely. I would, um, yeah, because I, I started volunteering about uh, about a year ago, actually. I work with, a, um, I work here with a charity that's based in Cambodia, and, uh, and uh, that's the sort of thing, I, I mean, I need to do more next year as we come up, because it's getting bigger and involves more responsibilities. People can volunteer for stuff. But I found a news resolution, uh, mm -hmm. which is to give blood. I've given blood a couple of times, but you go off to some odd foreign place where you might get some horrible disease, and that means you can't give blood for six months or a year, and then you get out of the habit of it. So um, probably been about three years since I've given blood, so it's time for me to do my bit, and that is my New Year's resolution for 2011 and 12 and 13 and beyond. I did a thing where I, where I went on there, um, the play, a playwriting course for kids in Houston, kind of inner city kids, and you help them write plays and stuff. And doing something like that really does, you know, you learn so much from them and you get so much out of it, in fact, yourself, um, that it's kind of, it's almost a selfish act in itself because you get this lovely thing, you are helping people, but you get so much out of it. It's better than giving up sweets or trying to get fit. I do think that, that resolving to, to help others is a, is a good idea and a good resolution to make. My resolutions were. Um... To talk to strangers every day and to engage with politics. And then there was one about like writing a joke every day. Donate blood, that is a really important thing to do. And volunteer for medical research. These things really tangibly help people. Sweeping uh, a neighbour's icy path. 
I enjoy, I, I do that every year, I like, I like my staff work. I think like the idea from, of mentoring for young people is a really a great thing, you know, get engaged with young people and see what's going on. Volunteer for something. I organise benefit gigs uh, for my kids' school. Yeah, picking up litter, it really, it really, it really irks me, it's something that really matters to me actually. Maybe having, you know, any elderly neighbours keep an eye on them. Maybe organise a summer street party. I think I am going to bake a cake for a relative and take it round the tea. Even though that's in the section for young people, I'm still going to do it. It's mine. You say you want a revolution, well, you know. We all want to change the world. It's the best thing in the world to give back is better than taking. Oh.